is getting ready to help you prep like a pro because when you have the right tools, you can absolutely do it. And that's what Kitchen HQ is all about, solving problems in the kitchen, but doing it in a way that's professional grade, but easy for people like you and I to use. This is our proprietary brand here at HSN. This beautiful adjustable mandolin can do everything you see here. And this is what sets it apart from the $100, $200 professional tools that can't do everything this can do. Look at this. Your quarter inch julienne cuts, your half inch, your diamond cut, square cut, and you can fully adjust from thin to thick your fruits, your veggies, your meats, even your cheeses, and everything is on board. You don't have separate parts that you have to switch out. You can even throw it in the dishwasher when you're done. It's so simple, and we have great colors for you. So up here is your red. Then when we come down here, we've got a beautiful plum. How unique is that? In front is teal, and then over on the left side, we've got your classic black also your white, and then you'll notice right in the front here, this is the blue. I cannot believe this is $24.95, and it can do all of these great things. This has fantastic safety features built in as well. It's everything you would want from a high-end $100 piece of equipment that we can work into our own kitchens at a great price. Three flex payments available on this, so $8.32 will get it home for you. And as I mentioned, we have John Florell here to show us how we can look like a pro, but not have to actually be one like him so it's good to see you i'm not a pro you are a pro you I could do this with your chef. eyes closed no, I i'm just, just like gonna to say cook. but <laughs> many many decades here helping us with our kitchen products yep. and especially with kitchen hq the items that solve a problem yep you know and this really does because we all know cooking doesn't take time in the kitchen it's all the prep work that takes the time that's right and this is going to be like your own little sous chef okay it's so simple to use easy to clean and it does literally just about everything but the cooking i just it made does. a whole bunch of zucchini Bikini sticks, okay, for a crudite platter, or maybe it's a little, maybe you have a little veggie dip, like a sour cream or an yeah. avocado or dip, and you, you want to make a vegetable up. tray, or maybe you want to fry <laughs> them up, right? Or you can do things like make cucumber icicles. Or if I change this, okay, and here's the thing about uh, with the Kitchen HQ mandolin, there's no extra parts and pieces; it's all in one. So you can literally adjust everything that you're doing with this machine. If you're into pickling, if you're into slicing, dicing, chopping, but you hate you using a knife and you also hate cutting yourself because with other tools we, we've all been there where here maybe it's one of these things that you're used to yeah. okay you have that old-fashioned tin can mm -hmm. thing okay if you get close to your fingers oh, nothing protects them giving me chills. So, yeah well when you get down close to the end you take off a half a knuckle <laughs> or oh. a nail so then, you well, never have to worry note, about then, that what sets this apart from all the other mandolins well, we've seen out there that's the, the thing everything is on board there's not 18 million pieces to choose from all, all the adjustments are done on the machine. So now everything stores right in your kitchen knife drawer, okay? Look it that. folds up flat just like this. That's all the room it takes up in your kitchen drawer. Literally, it stores right in your knife drawer. And wow. when you see it every day, you'll use it every day. What also makes a difference is everything, again, is on board. So if, if yeah, you just saw me slice that cucumber, uh, perfect for sandwich pickles. But if I wanted to make French fries, all I have to do is adjust a couple of knobs on the machine. And look at this. Now with the safety holder, I can make French fries by the mounds. I can make them by the pounds. I can do this with apples, zucchini, cucumbers. I, I mean, tell them. To, uh, Look at that. How long would that take to do by hand with a knife? Or right? you're spending and more for the convenience of buying a bag of frozen right. like that, and then and it, it gets costs freezer more, burned, right? and it doesn't taste as good. But here, let me just show you real quick on okay. the machine. Okay, I'll give you a quick tour around the machine. Right here is the knob that adjusts the thickness of your slice. Now, I want you to notice, I'll try and hold the machine. When I turn this knob, you can see how this platform raises up and down, okay? All I do is turn that little knob from thick, eight different slicing thicknesses, all the way up to the top, which is thin. Now, on this one, this is what raises the teeth up. You see those little julienning teeth? Yeah. They also do your mincing and your dicing. And there's two different sizes, so you can make two different size French fries. You can make a thick dice or a thin dice. And right here in the front, this little lever loosens up the platform. So what you do is drop that lever down. Now you've got a plunging platform, that knife, so you can literally do dicing and diamond cuts on the and machine. And that's big when it comes to the world of <laughs> mandolins, right? Because that's right. Because you're not getting that on everything else. Something else I want to mention, we're doing a bonus buy. So once you purchase one today's special, every subsequent mandolin you pick up, you'll save another $5. So it'll be $19.95 wow. on each one. So if you get one, maybe you want one for the, the vacation home, one for your daughter, 
your friends, whatever it is, that's a great way to pick this up because you're right, you are going to use this every single yeah. day. And, and I, look at already the variety of <laughs> types of well, food. Well, you can use. literally do just about anything with this machine. We even give you a guide, okay? Now this little guide, has, there's tracks on the side. It, it, it comes, you put it on the top of the machine like this, okay. it automatically slides into those tracks, okay? Once it's on there, you're ready to go. Put a potato, tomato, onion in that safety holder, whatever you wish. Okay. When you push the fruit or vegetable in this little safety holder, the, there's three stainless steel prongs on the inside, okay? And when I push the fruit or vegetable in, those it holds on to it. Ah. But you'll notice how this button comes up. Yeah. So as I'm slicing through, here I'll make it a little bit thicker slice, my vegetable fruit meat or cheese, for pan fries, home fries, raw fries, cottage fries, American fries, whatever you want to call them, they're gonna fry up evenly because they're all sliced evenly, right? But when you get down close to your fingers, I mentioned before that one of the best features about this HQ mandolin is the safety holder. You never waste anything. It yeah. takes it right down to the very last slice. So with no waste, and no fingers, you get perfect uniform slices. Now, that. it's not just a slicer, okay? Like okay. I said, you can do all kinds of fun things with this machine. Yeah, I, I always say if the only thing you'll ever use it for is onions, I think it's worth the price of admission just for <laughs> the onions that? alone. Why well, is it better? If you play tic-tac-toe with a butcher knife on an onion now, yes. you can chop onions so fast you don't even have time to cry. I mean, Look for tuna that. fish or chicken salad, for meatloaf on taco night, for homemade chili soups or stews. If you like it finer than that, all you do is turn this little knob and then the smaller teeth pop up for a minced onion. And I'll show you the difference. I've got a purple onion here. I'll tell you what, like I said, just for onions alone, yeah. I think it's worth it. Look at the job that does. Perfect minced about, onion for tuna fish or chicken salad. We talk about saving time. Clearly, you can see that. You're going to save money because if you've ever bought the pre-diced onion, right? you're going to pay a whole lot more just for that convenience. And you're also making it more fun to cook fresh. Like, well, if I know I have this tool, I'm way more likely to use oh, all yeah. of these fresh fruits and veggies. Here's what mandolins were originally developed for in Germany over 200 years ago. They were originally made as a cabbage board for making sauerkraut, oh, no okay? Kidding. What you would do is take a large head of cabbage, quarter it down through the stem, or a small head like this one, you can just cut it in half, but you leave that stem on, that holds all the leaves together, and then all you do is brush it against that blade, and from long, stringy cabbage coleslaw, hot slaw, pepper slaw, chow chow, you can do this with iceberg lettuce on taco night. And now, yeah. the difference is, and what, what people say they love about this machine, is how versatile it is. There's 12 ways to cut cabbage on this oh machine. Oh gosh. 26 different ways to cut celery. I'm just gonna show you a quick run through of a few. Here, I'm gonna drop this down to about a medium slice. Okay. And then I'm gonna pop those small teeth up because look, now instead of shredding your cabbage for coleslaw, you can mince it into little pieces. For deli style coleslaw with no lumps, humps, bumps, or chunks, it comes out of, It comes out so fine you could almost sip it through a straw. Look at that. I mean, look at that. It comes out absolutely perfect. Now, while we're now, talking about how different this is, tell me about that V-shape of the blade, well, because the, that's unique. The V-blade is important because now you have, instead of using one knife, Okay? okay, you have two. Cutting from both sides of the vegetable okay. at the same time. You see how that works? Yeah. So instead of taking a tomato and trying to push your tomato through there, when you move the knife, it cuts easier, right? right? Okay, well, and by the way, that's another question everybody asks about. How long do these blades stay sharp? Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing, what I tell everybody. When you use a knife, after you cut your food, what happens to the knife? Yeah. It hits a countertop, a cutting board, plates, dishes. That's why your knives go dull. And you ever notice how your knives are dull from here out to here? Yes. You ever see people cutting at home, they use it like this? Ooh, because yeah. that's the sharpest part of your knife blade, right back here by the handle. Right. Do you know why? That part of the knife blade never hits the countertop uh -huh. or cutting board. So with the mandolin, so with you don't these, have that. Because these only touch vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese, they never hit a countertop, cutting board, plate, or a dish. You can literally, they literally stay sharp. And you okay? never have to sharpen. And I'll tell you, what I find, most people get between, between seven and 10 years out of the blades, wow. depending on how much you use it. But look at that, perfect uniform slices. Now, again, the difference, and the time that you're gonna save by using a mandolin, I'm gonna put it on a medium slice, and then I'm gonna put those little teeth back up, because I, I've gotta ask you a question. How much time does it take to chop celery? Oh my at home? gosh, it, a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's a pain, most and it's so right? fibrous too, and I'm always getting stuck. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you pull the strings out. Well, look at this. Yeah, yeah. With no strings attached, 
you can <laughs> and not much. necessarily celery <laughs> when you have to chop celery slow anymore now with the v-blade uh, mandolin by hq look at this kitchen hq makes some of the best kitchen products and i'll tell you what it's the time that you save you can chop more celery in 10 seconds with this machine than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife there's a lot of things to love about this first yeah. of all if you were to look and we were talking earlier john because you know a lot about kitchen tools and you can see in like the fancy department stores easily a 200 dollars french mandolin right. right and it's a million pieces you have to switch yep. it out <laughs> yep. and it can't even do everything this can do because you can cube and dice with this one That's as well. Right. You're getting super high quality. This is our brand. Kitchen HQ is our proprietary HSN brand. We have taken the most common kitchen problems and we're solving them for you with professional grade um, tools that don't come at a high, high cost. So yeah, let's walk you through the great features Absolutely. Listen, the drop down handle, the offset handle in the back, I've seen other mandolins where the, when you bring your vegetable up, they're hard to use because the handle's right up on top. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we dropped it down. The V-Blade, we just talked about that. The dicing platform, I showed you that, how it bounces up and down. You've got the safety holder, which is the most important feature of this machine. You've got the dial adjustments on both the julianning and the slicing nice. th thicknesses right there on the side. It's so easy to use. And by the way, that little, you see that little thing they just showed you right there? Blade okay. guard. Mm -hmm. the, the, well, the, leg is, the legs uh, got a stainless steel legs with a silicone uh, rubber base on it. But underneath here, I want to pop this open because the, if a kitchen tool is hard to clean, yeah. you're never going to use it. True. Okay. With this machine, just rinse it off like a knife. Hot or cold tap water, it doesn't matter. But watch this. On the bottom side, we even put an access door in here. So really, Ooh. all you have to do is rinse that out. Okay. The holes go straight through. Run it under the tap. Everything comes off of there. You let it drip dry in your drain board, and you're done. And if you that's how easy it if is. If you wanted to, you could even dishwash this too as well. You it's could dishwasher top shelf, safe. Top shelf of the dishwasher. Washer. I, just, I say just rinse it like yeah, a knife because it's, it's so much easier. Oh, and you're seeing a great I... illustration too of all the different cuts you can get. Real quick, I want to walk you through the colors. If you're just joining us, it's our best value of the day. Um, red by far is our most popular. It always is with the kitchen tools. You love that bright pop yeah. of red. <laughs> so we do have that. We have plum. We have a great teal color for you. We have black blue and the white I want to let you know we're more than halfway through the quantity already on the white so that'll be the first to go it's $24.95 and all the things you've seen it do three flexible payments and by the way once you purchase one today's special you'll save five dollars on every subsequent mandolin that you pick up so if you're gifting somebody oh, that's a great a, way to be $19.95 this tool is amazing Christmas gifts birthday gifts right. wedding showers yeah. housewarmings anniversaries Everything. any Hostess happy gift, occasion all of it. any listen if you got a foodie in your life it's one of the best yeah. gifts ever because of the time that it saves you. Even just for corn off the cob, okay? Maybe your kids have braces. They can't chew the corn off the cob anymore. Mm -hmm. or, and if you've ever tried to take corn off the cob with That's a knife, me. okay? Like my grandfather, we used to have to take the corn off for him because yeah. he had teeth like the stars. Mm -hmm. You know, they came out every night. <laughs> so he couldn't chew the corn That's off the cob. two jokes already, John. <laughs> All you do is brush it through. So you put it wow. on the thickest slice, brush it through. Each time you brush it through that blade, it takes four or five rows of corn off the cob for creaming or steaming for boiled or buttered corn, yeah. for relishes, for chowders. I'll tell you what, just as a corn stripper, if this is all you, I went to the Iowa State Fair a few years ago. Mm -hmm. They had a corn stripper that all it did was take corn off the cob and it went for like $40. And that was it. <laughs> and this is so versatile. This, this does everything, including taking corn off the cob and you get full kernels of corn, you don't get any yeah. cob. Okay? You know, this is great if you have kids or grandkids or niece or nephew and you need right? the bite-sized portions for children because you can use it for everything. I wouldn't have thought of an orange. Oh yeah, yeah listen, for drinks you'll, or you'll use it yeah, for infused water or maybe you just want to slice up an orange for the mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. You know, good. for a fresh afternoon little uh, orange slice or you can use those for rimming glasses at the bar. If you take a lemon or a lime, here put a lime in here or a lemon like this and again, all you do is brush it through there. That razor sharp blade does the work for you. The button on top, you see how when I push that button, it feeds the vegetable fruit yes. meat or cheese down through that blade and that's why you never waste anything it takes it right down to the very last little nub but every slice and I want you to see this look at that there's not a seed out of place it amazing. slices Cut right through, through the, the seeds seed. and everything. That's how you know you've got a great quality blade. It's a great quality sharp blade, So a couple blade, right. questions. While I'm using this, yes. do I have to press down on the top? Do I need to do, or it automatically feeds it's, it down for It's me? so simple. Okay, basically loaded, right? what you're going to do is you place the machine on your countertop just okay. like this. The okay. legs fold up. 
okay, and they fold back out. Set it down over a countertop, tabletop. You can put it in a bowl. You can put it over a bowl, over mm -hmm. a frying pan if you like. And then put whatever fruit, vegetable, meat, or cheese you like in the safety holder. Those three prongs hold it in there. Set the adjustment blades right here so you can adjust it to whatever thickness you like. And by the way, if you lose the instructions, or like me, I never read instructions, <laughs> right here on the side, it tells you exactly what these do. So from thick slice to thin slice, like if you wanted to slice apples for dehydrating, or maybe you're making an apple pie, now you can do that. And then what happens, basically all you do is move your arm up and down. The blade does the work for you. And each slice comes out perfect, uniform, and even. That's great for making apple chips or cinnamon oh, yeah. apples are really good. I keep thinking taco night for some reason because <laughs> if you're doing like lettuce or cheeses or any of that, you're gonna right? use this. If you're entertaining this summer, it's great to have. Uh, it really is one of those super versatile it tools. Does everything. And that's where return yep. on investment is so important for something like this. Oh, sure. You've got to get your use out of it, and it's easy to clean as well. It, so you just rinse it like a knife. It's so yeah. easy to clean. And that's why, again, I think everybody will use this because it's so easy to clean. But I got to tell you, just for homemade potato chips, for scalloped potatoes, potatoes are gratin. If you've ever tried to make these at hand by, by at hand by hand at home with a knife, mm -hmm. you, there's just oh my no gosh, way. Look how great that is. I mean, every piece comes out exactly the same. Okay, they're exactly the same thickness. And now what you do is you put these in a bowl of ice cold water. Once you slice them, what happens is it soaks the starch out of your potatoes so they curl up like this. Okay, after about 10 minutes, they get crispy. And now you can put these on a cookie sheet in the oven, sprinkle some Parmesan cheese or barbecue salt over the top, season them how you like. That way you get potato chips baked instead of fried. It's healthier, better for you. And again, it, just for the french fries, if you have kids at home, the last time I took my kids to one of those fast food places, I noticed the price of the french fries. 95 cents for a four ounce package of french fries. Now if you add that up and figure it out, that's four dollars a pound for potatoes. <laughs> I mean, here's a machine that you can make french fries by the mountains, okay? And potatoes are cheap. Yeah, one potato is like 10 yeah. cents. Why spend all that money at a fast food place when you can make them fresh yourself? You know what you're eating. You can air fry them, you can deep fry them, you can spread them out on a cookie sheet and bake them in the oven if you like. Again, this machine does way more work than any electric expensive machine. And like I said before, mm -hmm. you, you don't have to use it for everything that we show you here, but if it's the one or two things yeah. that's gonna save you the time in the kitchen, isn't it worth it for like, what, $2.50 a finger? It's <laughs> <laughs> Instead of using a knife? It's funny because you're right about yeah. how you're going to customize it to what you need. So maybe you're that person who does make soups and stews yeah. and cook fresh and go to the farmer's market. Or you maybe like you have a onion. garden. Yep. Or maybe you're like me and I'm just, every week I'm making egg salad or chicken salad. Yep. And every week I'm sitting there chopping up the celery, the onion, the chicken and eggs. You could run a hard boiled egg on this, right? Oh, or I some have, chicken. Yeah, you could. I mean, I'll tell you what, look at that. Perfect minced perfectly minced. Now, cooked meats works best. Yes, okay? yes, yes, you yes, mentioned yes, chicken. Yeah. Like yeah. boiled chicken yeah, or something. I've never tried chicken. I haven't tried I would. That. Let me tell okay? you. I'm going to experiment. You I know? do salami. I do pepperoni. Mm. I do, you know, that, you know yep. uh, summer sausage. It slices it perfectly. And again, you get those uniform slices. So, and when you, if you do your cheeses on here too, now you want to do firm cheese, not, not, not sure. like, like mozzarella. Don't try to do don't mozzarella. Do mozzarella on there. But firm yeah. cheese, it works great. And another little tip too. Remember, different angles will give you different cuts, okay? So if I slice celery like this, I'm gonna get celery slices like you would with a knife, okay? For okay. a soup stock or for uh, stews, where you get the celery, uh, just like, you know, the shape of the celery. But the different angles, watch the difference here. I'm gonna put this right here. Instead of running it through straight up and down, run it through on an angle like this. Okay. And take a look at the difference now, because now you're making those stir fry cuts, look okay? Or for wok cooking. And you know, you don't have to have a wok to do stir fries. You can do them in a frying pan. They're healthy, they're good for you, they're quick and easy to cook and now with this machine they're quick and easy to cut too there's there's now, so much to I love put, here <laughs> uh, really if i put this up one more notch now running it through with the teeth up instead of coming out in slices now i'm julienning so i'm making those long celery spears for over the top of a salad or for a vegetable tray with a little sour cream or an avocado yeah. dip if you want to make some zucchini to match you can do your zucchini sticks the same way apples carrots cucumbers kiwi fruits i mean it does it all 
You are saving time. You're saving <laughs> money for sure because you're not paying for the convenience of pre-done. Right. It's safer because this has great safety features yep. on it. You're, it's going to stay put with the feet. You've already got that blade guard and everything's built in. You're not swapping out multiple things, losing and, pieces. And remember, you never have to sharpen the machine. Yeah. Okay. Because it's not like a knife that once you cut through the food, it hits your countertop or cutting board. Okay. Yeah. And that's what dulls your knife. All the blades ever touch are vegetables, fruit, meat, and cheese. So they stay razor sharp. And because you have that safety holder and because you have that guide that goes on the machine, now you never have to worry about cutting yourself. You never have to worry about, you know, getting one yeah. thick slice, one thin slice, one finger slice <laughs> with a